What up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And again, we're talking about money, stuff like money management, investing, getting access to capital. If any of that stuff is what you like, go ahead and stick around, check out this short video. And if you like this content, reward the channel with a like and a subscribe. Now in this short video, we're gonna talk about Experian Boost. But we're also, we're actually gonna talk about why I'm not a participant in Experian Boost and I think Experian Boost sucks, and I think you shouldn't participate in Experian Boost. Over the course of the next couple minutes, I'm gonna give you four quick reasons why Experian Boost ain't what's happening. Reason number one, I would not have used Experian Boost because they get access to your banking information and banking history. Why would I want an extra pair of eyes checking out all my banking information and banking history? To me, that's like a serious, privacy risk, that's like a serious risk, just period, from a financial standpoint. So reason number one, they got access to your banking information. Reason number two, it only helps with Experian. Uh, newsflash, it's three credit bureaus. You also have TransUnion and Equifax, and it's not the TransUnion boost and the Equifax boost, it's Experian only. So it's only helping you with Experian. If you go for a home loan, for instance, they're looking at what's called a tri-merge report. So they're looking at all three credit bureaus. This is not going to help you with covering up your issues with TransUnion and Equifax because it only gives you a boost with experience. So reason number two, it only helps you with experience. The third reason, it can actually hurt your DTI or your debt to income ratio. Your debt to income ratio, ratio is formulated by your debts, of course, divided by your income to tell you what percentage of your income is going towards taking care of your debts each month. When you use the Experian Boost, they actually get information on things like your water bill, stuff like a electric bill, and they're sharing that information with lenders, stuff that wouldn't normally be shared with lenders. So this can actually hurt your debt to income ratio. So that's the third reason. And last but not least, guys, you're going through a lot to get a very small boost. Okay, the average Experian boost is eight to 12 points. That's a lot of crap to go through, a lot of risk to take to get such a teeny weeny reward. So number four is it's only a small boost. There it is guys, there's my four reasons why I don't do Experian boost and I'm telling you not to do Experian boost. Hey, if you found value in that content, go ahead and hit me with a like, subscribe, share. And by the way, go ahead and pop the notification bell while you are at it. So uh, guys, I'm getting ready to get out of here. That's it for this video. I'm gone 100%.